What's up guys, I'm Zach from The Rolling Times and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a compression test on a Mark V GTI uh, 2.0T FSI. This will be pretty much a similar procedure for other Volkswagens and other cars. I'm going to start here by disconnecting my coil packs. There's two screws holding in the harness here. I already took those out and then these clips just kind of pop off. They're easy to break so most of these are already broken. Once we have that off, we're going to want to take the coils out. You can usually just wiggle them out. Just like that. All right, I'm a pussy today. So once we grow some balls and get the coil packs out, we're gonna grab your spark plug socket and ratchet, and you're gonna wanna remove all the spark plugs. Okay, after we remove the spark plugs, we want to disconnect the fuel. Uh, the easiest way to do that is just to pull the fuel pump relay or fuse. I'm just going to unplug my fuel pump because I have the back seat out and I was just replacing the fuel pump and stuff the other day. So that'll be the easiest way for me. Once I do that, we'll hook up the compression gauge and go from there. All right, so now we have the compression tester hooked up and what I'm going to do is go crank the engine for about five seconds and we'll see what the reading says. It's nice to have two people to do this, but you can do it by yourself. You want to make sure you have your foot on the throttle all the way down so the throttle plate's all the way open when you do this test. Alright, so we got about 140 PSI. I'm going to go crank the engine for five more seconds and see where it goes to. Alright, so we're getting a reading about... 160 which is kind of low uh, we're going to go ahead and test the rest of the cylinders and see how even they are a uh, big thing when you do a compression test is you want to see if all the cylinders are even or if one's a lot less than another uh, this is also a dry test so we'll also test um, by putting about a teaspoon of oil in each of the cylinders and then redo the compression test and then that'll tell us if the oil makes it better it's probably worn out rings if it doesn't make it any better, then it could be a uh, cracked head or a uh, leaking head gasket. Cylinder number two. Come on. Looking like about 130. And we're looking about 155. Cylinder number three. Uh, we're looking about 130 again. And about 155, 160. Cylinder number four. Looking about 130 again. And about 155. I guess the only good thing so far is at least they're all pretty even. Alright, now we're going to put a couple squirts of oil in there and try it. I'm not sure why, but my camera cut out. Anyway, I put some oil in there, did a wet compression test, and we're looking more like 175 on cylinder 1. We'll check the other cylinders here. That cylinder's not looking as great. Maybe 165, 170. 
I gave cylinder two a couple more cranks and it's looking like it's topping out at about 170, 175. Cylinder three, wet compression test. Looking at 185, that's actually pretty good. Cylinder four, wet compression test. looking about 185 in cylinder 4 so that's not terrible uh, since it was a lot better with the wet compression test my guess is the rings are probably starting to go bad alright guys that pretty much wraps up the video thanks for watching uh, if you need a compression tester I borrowed this one from AutoZone uh, usually you just pay the cost of the tool borrow it take it back and then get your money back hopefully this video helped you out and as far as my car we'll probably just run it till it blows over and out.